Zippy and Zappy go on an adventure. In a beautiful cornfield under a big green leaf, there live two ladybugs, also called ladybirds, named Zippy and Zappy. They led a happy and peaceful life, crunching and munching the green flies that ate the corn leaves. As months passed, Zippy began to feel bored. I'm sick of eating these green flies, Zappy said with a sigh. Me too. There must be more to life than just these green flies and this corn, Zippy said yawning. You're right, Zappy said. Come, let's pack our bags and leave this boring place, Zippy said, jumping up with a big smile. They packed their bags and set off on their journey to find an interesting new place to live in. Look, Zippy, a truck. Come on, let's j jump on that bunch of corn, Zappy said. They flew toward and clung to an ear of corn. The farmer picked up the bunch and arranged it in the truck. The truck started. Yay, here we go. Zippy and Zappy shouted, waving goodbye to their home. The, their adventure had begun. They snuggled and cuddled together, looking at the beautiful stars and were soon asleep. The truck traveled miles and miles and finally reached a city. Zippy and Zappy woke up to the loud noise of traffic. They peeped out of the truck and saw the big city. Hooray! We made it! Zippy and Zappy said and jumped out of the truck. They saw a flower shop with beautiful, colorful flowers arranged both outside and inside. Excited, Zippy and Zappy flew into the shop. They crept and crawled on a bunch of bright sunflowers and drank the nectar from each flower one by one. Soon, their stomachs were full and they dozed off. When they woke up, they were inside a bag with a bunch of sunflowers. Snaked and scared, they peeped out of the bag and saw that a lady was carrying them towards a house. She went to the big backyard and placed a bunch of sunflowers in a vase on a table. Zippy and Zappy crawled up a stomach and down the vase and looked around. There was a small playground in the backyard. Zippy, look, Zippy, look, a slide. Zappy said and they ran to slide and glide. Zippy was waiting his turn when something swung down from a tree to catch him. Watch out! Zappy cried pointing to the creature. Zippy saw a big spider hanging and swinging from a silk thread and dropping closer and closer towards him. Not knowing what to do, Zippy lay down and played dead. Confused, the spider came near Zippy. Zippy sprayed a nasty smelling yellow liquid out of his legs. The spider quacked and puked and ran away. Zippy and Zappy laughed and laughed when they saw the spider running away. Then they saw a swimming pool. They jumped into the water and paddled about merrily. They had come out and were sunning themselves when they noticed a movement in the bushes. Out came a long, sticky tongue which spooked and shocked Zippy and Zappy. They understood that in a moment they would become snack for this frog. Suddenly their polka dotted red shells opened and their swings came out. Swoosh! Off they flew in the blink of an eye. The tired friend sat on a branch of a big apple tree. They saw a half-eaten apple dangling from the branch and went on to munch and crunch. It like there was no tomorrow. When their stomachs were full, they fell asleep. It was a bright new morning. Zippy and Zappy woke up and crawled down the apple tree. A shadow fell on them. Before they could sense the danger, a huge dragonfly caught Zippy and flew away. Help! Zippy yelled. Zappy dashed and chased the dragonfly, flying as fast as she could to help her best friend. Zappy hit and bit the dragon's tail with, with all her might. The dragonfly screamed in pain and dropped Zippy. Are you alright, Zippy? 
Zappy asked, looking worried. Before Zippy could reply, he saw the dragonfly fuming and coming back towards them. Oh no, he cried, and they started to fly with all their might. Honk, they saw a truck. Zippy and Zappy flew and flew with all their strength and hid in the truck to save themselves from the dragonfly. The truck began to move. The dragonfly couldn't chase them any further. Phew, Zippy and Zappy had a narrow escape. Zippy and Zappy hugged each other and lay down to rest after their long and exciting but very tiring day. Soon, they fell asleep. When they woke up, they saw the truck had taken them home. They jumped for joy. Zippy and Zappy lived peacefully in the beautiful cornfield under a big green leaf, crunching and munching green flies until their next adventure.